What's up divas and divos? So you guys already know what time it is. This is about to be a video, like a review video and a styling video. I don't really know how you want to call it, but I think it's called Van Love, all right? Yes, they have their own website, vanlove.com, okay? So I wanted to try out their ombre hair and it's loose wave. And they sent me four bundles, two 22s, a 20, I think it was a 16, and a 16-inch and a closure. I'm not really remembering the specs, but I'll definitely post it below for you guys so you can check it out. But the color that I noticed on the website was the color 27, and it looked really nice, especially because it's loose wave. You guys know, like, I love loose wave hair, like, I'm saying. I be all for it, like all in for the loose wig. So anyway, you know, they sent me the hair and I finally got around to making the wig. And you know, when you wash it, that's when the waves be popping. Sometimes it be looking like, oh my God, girl, I'm about to be seasick because there's so much waves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there was hardly any waves in this hair. Like this is the waves that I am getting from this hair. So this is their loose wave. Now that is the truth because it is loose. Like there's no waves in this. Okay. Like none. The hair is like nice. Don't get me don't get it twisted or don't give me the line. It's nice hair, but I really did want something that was loose wave that was going to wave up, especially because it was ombre. I was like, you know what? I've never done a loose wave ombre that was already done for me. So let me try this out. Bitch. There's no loose waves in this. Like, okay. Also, when I got the hair, it wasn't even like this color. It was like this really kind of like yellow, golden, shiny doll-like color blondish whatever I had to use my toner just to tone it down because it just was not for me like I was like oh my god this hair is so like shiny it looks so big I definitely had to use my toner the hair washed well it toned really easy when I say tone I don't mean like Noella toner or anything like that I'm talking about like you know uh, what you call that stuff? The purple shampoo, but not the purple shampoo. Like, it's purple, but it's by Mark Daniels. So, I used that, and it toned it really nice. You got to do it, like, twice, okay? Because, trust me when I tell you guys, the color was so shiny and, like, golden-like. It was just not acceptable to me. But, the fact that it said loose wave, kind of, like, where's the loose wave at? Like, loose wave means it's supposed to be loose not not there this is like not there there's no way that I could wear this outside plus the closure didn't get loose anywhere okay I hung it upside down like I normally do my loose waves or my loose curls and it gives more curls and volumes if I didn't hang it upside down it wouldn't even have gotten this much loose wave or whatever you want to call it in it um, but this part was all straight I didn't do anything to it so from it just being so straight up here it just allowed me to see like this is not loose wave acceptable we're just gonna call this like natural wave or body wave we're just gonna call it hair okay it is virgin brazilian hair prior to them dyeing it or ombre in it i don't really think it's virgin anymore but you know this part is the dark portion is it's a little bit dark to me against this color i would probably prefer it to be more or less like a natural brown i didn't even cut it i just left it like this and just was like you know what i'm gonna just style this on camera so that way you guys could see that i'm not bugging out and i did pre-tweeze like a little left curved part and i did play some combs in it along with the comb in the back so the only thing that I really need to do now is cut the lace off and style it but for the most part it didn't shed well it did shed now I'm lying okay it did shed they all shed but it didn't shed excessively you know what I mean like when I washed it hair comes out like always I, I brushed it it didn't tangle as I was brushing it because the hair you know what I'm saying when I first seen the hair like I said I was just like oh my god it looked like baby doll like baby doll hair and that's the reason why I toned it me personally I don't really like to get colorful hair from like any um vendors um that are overseas because it seems like some their color and our color is a little bit different it's a little bit off so I would really prefer to color it myself but I just decided you know go ahead April and just take a gamble and let them color for you um they didn't do a bad job but you know it was a little bit shiny for my taste so I was glad that the toner like you know dulled it down and gave it more or less a more natural color but the only thing like I'm really disappointed about is the fact that 
there isn't any wave to it because I like to do wavy and because I'm lazy I like to do wavy because I'm lazy you know what I'm saying and it wasn't a wave to it so that means now that I have to curl it so let's get into this I will definitely post all of their links below for you guys so that you can check it out I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think um thumbs the video up because you know you love me and we're gonna get into it. all right ladies let's get this style ship popping so as I got as I told you guys this is their loose wave but you know what it's not any type of waves going on here so you know we're just gonna curl it up see how it do I do like the way the color turned out thanks to my toners Mark Daniel I do love that toner so definitely check Amazon for so as you guys see it did look kind of crazy like this there's no loose wave in it it's pretty long I'm gonna style it the first thing I'm gonna do is separate it you know like put it in half or put it to the side whatever and I'm gonna braid one side and I'm gonna put my herbal essence styling mousse in my hair I love the styling mousse I do like Aussie but this one is a little bit cheaper it helps with the flyaways it also helps hold the curl so whenever I'm curling any units I definitely always use a styling mousse because it just tames flyaways it holds curls and and it just makes styling so much easier so let's get into the rest of the styling the curling battle that I'm using is from irresistible me you guys see me use this all the time it's like an inch and a half I love it it makes life so much easier and a girl does like life to be so much easier like I'm not like a huge fan of curling any hair especially on myself like I normally do it on a mannequin head but lately I have been getting into it doing it on just video for you guys just to show you I'm definitely not going to show you all of me curling this hair because you guys get the gist it's just same thing over and over it's just repeatedly repeatedly whatever you want to call it so yes I'm just going to show you a little bit more and then I'm going to get to the very end like you see here so here we go with the front the styling and the curling was super fast um it is I think three bundles and I like the fact that it didn't take me too long to curl this because honeys I really don't like to be there too long so now what you see me doing here is I'm just gonna pull out a little bit of my frontal hair because this is a closure it doesn't lay like you know it doesn't provide you with lace throughout ear to ear but that's okay because I'm a huge fan of closures I prefer them more because it's just easier to do and I'm also gonna lay me some baby hairs so I am spraying in this Boldify which it helps um, kind of like camouflage my thin edges makes it look like I have thicker edges which is great because a girl does need that and a little bit of Aussie does go a long way all done it did curl really nice I do like the color I do like how the color just kind of like it's not all over the place but it's in like certain spots so I think that's what gives the hair like a lot of dimension and such so the color did come out really nice after I did tone it and as you guys seen I just used my one inch I think it's an inch or inch and a half barrel I do love this barrel it's like an eight and one interchangeable barrel this is available at um irresistible me so you guys I'll always use this in all of my videos but like the most important thing I find like when you want to curl hair is always use like a styling mousse or some type of like set and spray I like to use styling mousse um I like the herbal essence but I also do use Aussie this just keeps it from the flyaways and also keeps the curls in place and then you know my favorite hairspray which is Aussie instant freeze so other than that it did come out cute I didn't cut it I just left it as it is as it is it is pretty long on me but I do like the color because it kind of like complements the skin tone so I am feeling this unit but I'm not really sure I cannot remember if it was four full bundles or three I do know that um I used all the bundles and I'm thinking it was probably like three two twenty twos or twenty and like a sixteen inch closure if I'm correct so um when I was curling it I was like dang this is kind of thin like normally it takes me like a lot longer to curl hair because I put in so many bundles but you know it does look nice it's very full it's long I don't think this would be like I mean if you wanted to cut it you could but you would be just kind of cutting some of the hair the color away in it but it just turned out really cute I'm just still disappointed that it's not loose wave because that's what I was going for if I wanted to curl 
curl some hair, I definitely got to either body wave or straight. You guys know I don't like to do too much, like curling, all of that. Like, I got enough to do. But anyway, so you can definitely, definitely check out Van Love. I'll post all of the information below for you guys and any other information on the company. Let me know what you think. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and share it with everybody in the world. I love you guys, and I'll see you in a super come video.